Hello, hello. We think Raisin is in labor um, and there's really a lot of sun, so you can't really see very well. But we're gonna go check on her. We think um, she's almost ready to have her babies. Yup. Okay. Got a little area here with a heat lamp. It's getting a little chilly. I'm ready for Raisin. I'm pretty sure you're ready. He's starting to go into labor, Raisin. Raisin's in labor. Her udder is wicked full. And she's already scratching the ground and going to corners. It'll be tonight, we think. So Raisin's in labor and it's her first time. So Tim and I were gonna go on a date night, <laughs> but we're gonna stay home just to make sure everything goes okay. We put out a heat lamp, and gave her some food and water. So we're just gonna watch her. Raisin's gonna have babies. Yahoo! <laughs> so I just got some stuff out, some gloves, some goat drench in case the babies are really weak when they come out. Some stuff to dry off the goats, dry them off if they're wet, and then I cleaned the scissors with hydrogen peroxide to cut the cords if I need to, and some paper towels. So, get ready for labor. Good girl. Good job, Raisin. Come on, girl, you can do it. You can do it. Don't know. It's all right. I didn't. Make sure it can breathe. There you go. Did you hear it? It went me. She's had her one. She's had this one. Uh -huh, Ava's yeah. trying to dry her off. Yeah. And she's trying to. She's pushing out another one. Just stand. Stand. I see that one. Good job. Keep going, sweetie. Mm -hmm. okay, wait till she has me. Pop the back. Number three, all on our own. Wait, is there two of that? I think there's two. We can check it out. Step out of her mouth. Go, girl. Go, girl. Good. Well, yep. Come on. Okay, mom. This one next. Goodness. This one now. This one now. Oh, the third one's a girl. Yeah. Two boys and a girl. The third she pushed out, which is her own, um, all by herself, and it's just as big as the second one. Nice job raising, girl. Mama, clean that one off. Mama had three babies. That was number one. That was number two. And then all by herself, unassisted, number three. And now she's having a treat from grain. Not smart kittens. You should stay in here at nighttime. You should stay in here. Right. right. It's been a couple hours. I'm going to go in for a bit. So she, the three babies are doing fine. They're up and walking and she's drying them all off. But they're trying to nurse and she's backing away. She's 
won't let them nurse. So um, just going to let nature take its course. I'll come back out in a couple hours and check on them. But um, let's hope she gets the hang of it. Delivers her placenta and lets them nurse. Raisin, they need to nurse, honey. Let them nurse. Okay, I don't know, she won't let him nurse. I'm gonna go inside for a while. This is great, so she delivered her placenta. She's eating the placenta and letting a baby nurse. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so this little one I'm not so sure about. That one will be fine, but that little one I'm not so sure about. Brr, it's cold this morning. <laughs> um, the little guy went with my friend Caden last night. He's bottle feeding him. Oh. The doe and the buck are up and walking. They were snuggling with Raisin in the corner this morning. And now I gave Raisin a bowl of grain and some alfalfa. She's not letting them nurse, but hopefully after that she will. There we go. They're favoring her left side for sure. <coughs> Not to make sure that she gets there. She's letting them nurse. Good job, Raisin. You're doing it, honey. That was a wrestling match, but I got some colostrum from Raisin to go take to the runt, the bottle fed baby. So the runt is doing great. Uh, Kaden, my friend and neighbor took him, named him Napoleon because he's so tiny, but he's mighty. And he's going to bottle feed. We might all help. I'm gonna show you a picture of him. He's doing great.